Hi, this is Yanni. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an amazing day. Tonight, I am going to start packing. So I'm going to show you a little bit of my packing prep, how I get ready for a trip. I am going to be traveling a lot in the next few months. Wish me luck. I leave tomorrow night to fly to Chicago. The flight is, I think, at 11, but I do want to start packing a little bit today just so I can get some of the main stuff out of the way. I am flying to Chicago to visit my boyfriend and his family. I'm there for about 10 days and then I fly to Charleston to meet my family. So I'm there for again 10 days and then I fly back to LA and then again within 10 days I fly back home to India. It's going to be a lot of travel for me so I just want to get everything prepped for the first two places at the very least and all I know is that it is extremely cold. I, I hate the cold. I hate the cold and the only way for me to enjoy is if I am layered and feeling warm. There's a lot to pack and here is my here is my issue. Okay, I am flying Spirit because it is the cheapest flight and your girl has to save some money. The issue is Spirit, unlike every other airline, their limit is 40 pounds. Everywhere else the limit is 50 and all my remaining flights are 50 pounds. So I can technically carry 50 pounds but because I'm flying Spirit to the first place, I have to only carry 40 pounds. And it's extremely hard when you have to pack winter clothing because it's automatically heavy. And I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So I paid for a check-in and I also paid for a carry-on which was a ridiculous amount of money to pay for a freaking carry-on. But I just wanna be warm because if I'm not warm, I'm just gonna be miserable. I have to also weigh the bag to just to make sure I'm not over because the last time I flew Spirit, I didn't know about this 40 pound rule and I got screwed at the airport. I ended up having to pay a shit ton of money just because I didn't know. But now I know, so Spirit cannot screw me over again. I'm going to make sure I'm under 40 pounds. I will be 39 pounds. They will not get one more dollar out of me. Let's stop. dark outside i don't know how i got so late but i am pretty much that's shouting in the back i am pretty much i think done packing i think i did a pretty okay job i checked the weight already i haven't fully finished packing but it is the last time i checked it was 27 pounds and then i added some more stuff so right now it's probably around 34 I think I have five more pounds to go so I'm gonna milk this stuff. I'm gonna fill it up to 39. I'm gonna make use of it. The last thing I have left are my toiletries, which I'm gonna do tomorrow before the flight, and one jacket. So I'm gonna check everything at the end. If it's too full, I'm just gonna wear the jacket, even though it is a leather jacket. I don't wanna wear that at the airport, but I'm gonna suck it up if I have to. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much done for right now. I'm feeling very accomplished. On the flip side, my closet is a gigantic mess that I don't want to deal with. So we're not going to deal with it. I just want to take a long shower. And I'm also really hungry, but I don't have any groceries because I didn't get any because I knew I was leaving. So should I order something or should I be good and just order tomorrow before the flight? I don't know. I don't know. For right now, I'm going to go shower and take off my makeup the next morning it is the next day we're going to target right now because i have some things i still want to get i think the best part about traveling is just having mini things i am going to target to just get a bunch of mini little everythings and it's my favorite part i love having like just small things i can take i've realized i like it so much that even for like a day-to-day -day basis i would rather buy something mini that i can take with me everywhere rather than a full size unless i like use it all the time in it makes more financial sense to get a bigger size but i'm actually kind of 
done backing more or less this is all the way up to 38 pounds so i think i'm gonna leave it there that's all my coats and jackets and everything and this is all just day-to-day -day wear and here i have like my makeup my camera stuff my some shoes there i think i'm pretty good and yeah let's go to target let's hope i don't spend more money than i need to I've realized the ones that I have are open toed and I'm gonna take these to Chicago so I know they're cold so I kinda want my toes to be closed. I needed a new lip balm so I got a lip balm, a mouthwash and some travel sized toothpaste. I also got something to eat. I was dying. I was so hungry. Mm. I don't even know how long I spent in Target because now it is 4.21 and I swear to God when I left it was 2 to get done with everything by around 8. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit, relax for a while. I wanna wash my hair because it's absolutely disgusting. Shower, wash my hair. I need to shave my face. I wanna do a little scrub and just some nice pre-travel self-care. I'm just gonna relax for a bit. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to Chicago. I'm so happy. Kyle's already there. He left like last week. But the last time I was there, we just ended up having so much fun. And I'm also very excited to go to my family after that. I haven't seen my mom since I went home. Actually, it's not that long. I haven't seen my mom since March. But my mom is my best friend and I really miss her when she's not around me. And so I'm really excited to see her. I haven't seen my brother either. It's been, I don't know, it's been a minute since I've met Everyone. I'm just really excited to go spend time with everyone. I did change up the lighting in here just so you guys can see a little better and I'm gonna put on my lenses so I can see a little better because I'm blind. Has anyone done LASIK here? LASIK? LASIK? LASIK. However you say it. If you've done it, can you let me know? Uh, how it went because a lot of my friends have been telling me to do it but I'm terrified because I have seen Final Destination and I've seen what happens to the girl that tries to go laser her eyes and I'm honestly just terrified that that's gonna happen to me and I know that's an irrational feel because it is a movie oops it is a movie but I also feel like if you haven't seen the scene go watch the just type in Final Destination eye laser scene and you'll see why I'm terrified basically but yeah, if you have done it, can you let me- Ow! Because I've also heard your number comes back. And then it's just not worth it, you know? My power is very high. I'm like five in both eyes. Ow! Sorry about that. <laughs> there was something going on with my hair. My hair? My eyes. My eyes are just saying no, thank you. We don't want your lenses. No, thank you. Now watch what's gonna happen. My hair is wet. I tied it up. When I open my hair, it's gonna be- because we do love curly hair. We wish we had curly hair, but we don't, so we make do with what we got. Next, I'm gonna try to tweeze my eyebrows because we don't have time to get them done. Looking a little rough. Ow, I don't like it. Ow, ow, I don't like doing this on my own. It hurts. Yeah, never mind. I'm not doing it. No, thank you. Okay, I'm just about to get changed, but I thought I should weigh my bag before I leave. I do not have a bag scale, so I'm just gonna weigh myself and then hold the bag and then see what the weight is and subtract myself. Okay. Now with the bag. Hold on, I'm gonna do the math on the calculator. I think we are good. Okay, I'm pretty much ready. I'm just gonna show you guys everything I have in this bag. This is one of my favorite things when I'm traveling. I don't know if you can see it right now. Is it focused? Is this little ice roller for your face and I use it every time I travel. I'm not gonna try it on right now because I have skincare on, but 
the last time I traveled I had this thing where the entire left side of my face went numb like I couldn't feel it and this helped so much it brought all sensation back to my face I was so freaked out I thought I was having a stroke I don't even say that lightly I nearly had a heart attack on the flight because I thought my body was like giving up on me a little bit I have my sleep mask which is this is my favorite sleep mask it is one of the softest things I don't know if you can see that but it's foam and it just molds to your eye shape can you see that it is one of the comfiest things and it is complete blackout on the bottom i have one more pair of shoes here that didn't fit in the bag i have my toilet kit i have my little in flight whatever whatever i want to use i have my eye stuff like my contacts and everything you guys saw me back you know what i mean my laptop is here i have some dramamine and all some pills in case i feel sick and some hand warmers in case i'm cold that is my little travel duffel it is about 8.08. I do not remember the last time I felt nerves getting on a flight. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I don't know why I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of things. And I feel like I'm going to be late for some reason. I'm not late. I'm actually very holy. But I don't know. I haven't felt like this flying in a really long time. I'm very used to it. I fly home all the time. I fly to my brother all the time. I've flown to Chicago before. I don't know what is going on right now with my body. But I have butterflies. And I'm feeling extremely nervous and it's freaking me out because this doesn't happen. This never happens. <sighs> But yeah, we're gonna leave in like 20 minutes. I'm gonna get an Uber. I've zipped up all my bags. I am pretty much ready to go. Guys, I am ready to go. My outfit. Top and bottom are both from the skins. And I'm just wearing some black on this jacket. This cute little fuzzy jacket because I already know I'm gonna get cold. I didn't get much sleep, my brain decided to take a full day so I want to think about my current stressors in life. So I'm going to brush my teeth because we still have some time to get out of the plane. Hello, I'm in bed about to go to sleep. But I think I'm going to end this video right here. And I hope you have an amazing day. And thank you so much for watching.